Hello again. We are continuing our discussion on derivatives by talking about more rules that you will need to know in order to accurately find the derivatives of specific functions. Today we're going to talk about the product and quotient rules, which um, I mentioned there were rules for these earlier in this chapter, and now we're going to talk about what those rules actually are. We'll start off with the product rule. Um, if I have a function that is made up of the product of two smaller functions, then the derivative is going to be the derivative of the first function times the second function plus the first function times the derivative of the second function. Okay, so uh, if I want to talk in terms of uh, dy dx, if y is some function u times another function v, um, then the derivative is going to be v times du dx plus u times dv dx. And we need to know both of those definitions. Um, in order to find the derivatives. So for example, if I have a function that is 4 times x to the 7 minus 2x multiplied by 5x to the third plus 9, then what is h prime? Now I could easily uh, multiply those out and find the derivative that way, but I just want you to see that um, this rule actually works. Um, so f of x is going to be that first function and then g of x is going to be the second function. So the derivative of the f function is going to be 28 times x to the 6 minus 2, and the derivative of the second function is just going to be 15x squared. So now I can plug them into that formula. f prime times g plus f times g prime is going to be 28x to the 6 minus 2 times 5x to the 3rd plus 9 plus 4x to the 7 minus 2x times 15x squared. And if I simplify, if I multiply those out, I get 140x to the 9 plus 252x to the 6 minus 10x to the 3rd minus 18 plus 60x to the 9 minus 30x to the 3rd. And that gives me 200x to the 9 plus 252x to the 6 minus 40x to the 3rd minus 18. And if you had expanded that out and taken the derivative that way, you would have gotten the exact same uh, answer. Okay, the quotient rule works like this. If I, have two, uh, if I have a function that's made up of two functions being divided instead of multiplied, then the rule is the derivative for that function will be the derivative of f, f prime, times g of x, minus f of x times g prime of x, all over g of x squared. And I need to talk about it in terms of u and v as well. If y is a function u over a function v, then the derivative of that is going to be v du dx minus u dv dx all over v squared. So both of those notations are important. And here's an example. Um, if I have this function h and it is 4x to the 7 minus 2x all over 5x to the 3rd plus 9, what is the derivative of that? So f of x is going to be the top function, g of x is going to be the bottom function, and here are their derivatives. So if I plug those functions and derivatives into the formula, I get 28x to the 6 minus 2 times 5x to the 3rd plus 9 minus 4x to the 7 minus 2x times 15x squared all over 5x to the 3rd plus 9 squared. Okay, And if I multiply it out, I get all of that. And if I simplify, that is what I would get for um, my final simplified answer. Okay, now what I've done here is I've actually given you the rules for the products and quotients, um, but I haven't actually proven them using the definition like I have in previous lessons. I do have a second video that is optional for you to watch. It's uh, on the same page as this one. Um, so if you're interested in knowing the proof of those rules, feel free to watch those videos, but it is not mandatory. It's just uh, if you're interested in knowing where those rules come from and why they actually work. So that is the product rule and chain rule. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know and I will see you tomorrow.